good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you are watching this. I appreciate you. Um, yesterday, I went for my pre-op. exam for my operation that's happening Thursday and in the video I said that I was going to end it because I <coughs> wasn't sure I like this stuff because it's noisy I was going to end it then because I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get back on and sure enough I wasn't able to get back on because when I finally left when I finally left the um hospital I was sitting in tons of traffic so I didn't really get to record and as usual I got turned around um, and got off at a different exit but it's weird because the exit that I'm that it tells me to get off on doesn't exist and I know that they're doing construction, so I think what happened was the exit did actually exist, but because they are doing in construction, um, I have a huge pet peeve, and I know this is off topic, but it always is when I'm in the car. Turn signals have a purpose, use them. Um, but anyway, the, I do believe that the exit once upon a time existed, but since they're in the midst of construction, it doesn't exist. Um, it, it doesn't even show signage of where it used to be. So, like, it doesn't even say exit so-and-so is closed. Like, sometimes you see the signage and it says, you know, exit B is closed or exit A is closed due to construction. This wasn't that, the case for that one. So, it, I usually get turned around when I'm headed back home from Dallas. Um, but I made it. I didn't get home until after seven. I made a pit stop on, along the way. I was like 30, 20 minutes out from home and I made a pit stop, went to, um, cause I had been in traffic for so long and it was moving so slowly. Then I stopped to go to the restroom, use the facilities. And then picked up a couple of things I needed to pick up for the house. So, yeah. But I was really irritated because um, I got the letter for my pre-op when I went to the doctor last week. And when I went yesterday, and it, 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 in the letter for the pre-op, it told me what I needed to do. And the letter for the surgery told me what I needed to do. As far as the you know pre-op is concerned as far as the the day before the surgery is concerned like prepping they call it bowel prepping or something um, and then when my post-op appointment is so I knew that I had to have some blood work done and I knew that I had to have an x-ray done and when I got to the doctor's office they did the blood work and an EKG in the doctor's office, but I needed to go to the hospital for the x-ray, which was fine because the hospital is literally right across the street from the doctor's office, which I absolutely love because I was able to leave my car in the parking lot where the doctor's office is and walk over to the hospital and walk to the building internally that I needed to get to um, instead of walking outside but I, I was able to walk inside to get to the building that I needed to get to for the x-ray. But I get there to admitting and they can't find my order, my paperwork. So I'm sitting there and there are like five people in front of me, which, okay, I expected to be sitting there for a little bit because there were so many people in front of me. But then these people started leaving and, you know, nothing is happening. And then finally one of the young ladies comes to me and 
says, we're looking for your paperwork. We're trying to find your order. We don't see it. And your doctor is actually usually pretty good about making certain that that information gets sent to us. So I'm like, okay, I'll sit here, see what happens. Another 15, 20 minutes went by and um, the young lady, another young lady comes and says, we're still looking don't worry did they give you anything did they give you the order I'm like no they didn't this is all they gave me and I show it to her and it's really just the information I needed for the pre-op which they gave me a second copy when I went to the doctor's office yesterday so I'm just showing her what they gave me and it's not the order for the x-ray it's just you know your surgery is scheduled for such and such a day and this is what you need to do before and this is what we'd like for you to do after blah 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 um, so now they can't find the order. I don't have the order. They're calling all around. They're not getting the answers that they need. Oh, they changed the name of this apartment complex. Okay. Um, they're not getting the answers that they need. So another 15, 20 minutes goes by and I get up and I says, okay, what, what? So they told me to sit down with the registration lady. I do that. She's in the computer looking for my order. She can't find it. They're wondering, you know, what doctor's name it's under. I give them the doc both doctors, the, not only my surgeon, but my PCP, my primary doctor. They don't see it. Okay. So there's this, you know, smoothie place it's a little restaurant, but they sell smoothies too. And I'm like, okay, wh what time do they close? Because I'd like to go grab a smoothie before they close. And she's like, oh, they'll be open for a while. But if you want, go ahead and grab one. They have this pineapple coconut orange smoothie that is so yummy. It's not super thick and the coconut... Um, shreds are shreds they're not like chunks of coconut and it's not just coconut flavoring um, and it's really good so I want to grab one of those came back they still didn't have my paperwork grab one of those and two cookies I still have a cookie left it's so filled with oil <laughs> because the bag that it's in is like covered in grease right now um, but I do that, I come back to admitting and still no paperwork. So I sit back down and we're talking another, I don't know, 20 minutes. So at this point, I've been there for an hour and some change now, like an hour and 10 minutes now. I've been there and they still can't find my paperwork. And the young lady proceeds to tell me, well, you can always come in the morning. They open at 7. The x-ray department opens at 7. I said, sweetie, <laughs> that's not going to happen because I live in Fort Worth. This is an inconvenience. Well, did the surgery date change? No, ma'am. Surgery date's always been the same. It's always been May 3rd. Nothing has changed about it. And I am not coming in the morning. I live in Fort Worth. I work in another city. And it takes me an hour to get here. And you're saying that I can come back at 7 o'clock in the morning. That right there is not going to happen. I said, now I will be accommodating and try to come back in the evening. But I don't want to take any more time off from work to do this. As it is now, I have to take time. I have to leave work early so that I can get here on time to do the stuff that needs to be done as it pertains to this procedure. So, what can we do so that I don't have to take any more time off of work? So she says, well, I tell you what what time is your surgery? So I told her what time. 
I said, but I have to be here two hours before the surgery. She said, maybe we can get them to just do the x-ray before the surgery. I said, you know what? How about we do that? How about we do just that? If I need to get here two and a half hours earlier, then I will do that. But I'm not coming in the morning and I'm not staying any later because they also proceeded to tell me that the, the there's another portion of the lab that or the hospital where they do x-rays that stays open until six. It's already after five o'clock. I'm going to be in the midst of Dallas rush hour traffic. And mind you, the hospital is in downtown Dallas. Downtown Dallas is very, very similar to downtown Chicago. And their rush hour traffic, their after work traffic is insane. So, nah, it's after five. I'm not staying till six. I don't have that kind of time to waste. It's not my fault you all can't find the paperwork. I'm going to go home now. I will be back the day of my surgery. Get the x-ray scheduled for Thursday morning. Then she proceeds to give me discount parking tickets because you have to pay to park in their garage. So she proceeded to give me discount parking tickets, which I appreciate even though I didn't park in their lot. And I told them, I don't park in your lot if I don't have to because you have to pay to park in your lot. So she gave me the discount tickets and I said, well, can I use this when I come in for my surgery? And she said, absolutely, you can. So that's what I, I'm going to do. I'm going to use those discount tickets for when I come in for my surgery and we leave um, because even though their parking isn't, you know, super expensive, I'll be there overnight and um, I can I can use as much off of that as I possibly can get. So, yeah, um, that's that's that. But yeah, so that was my rest of the yesterday um, as far as that pre-op appointment is concerned. And today has been um, a little, today's been okay. It, it, it's been okay. We have, it was really busy, you know, as far as the phones are concerned, um, because it's about to rain in a couple of days and it's supposed to be a really good rain and it's supposed to last a couple of days and the kind of work that we do, um, is better done when it's dry outside. Um, so yeah, we've been getting crazy calls and I feel like it was kind of the day for one seemed to last for ever. Um, I was sitting at work at nine o'clock. Like it feels like 12 hours have gone by already and it's only nine o'clock. I've only been at work for two hours. Then 10.30 hit and I was like, really, it's just 10.30. I feel like I've been here another three hours and it's only 10.30. And when I talked to my supervisor, she says, oh yeah, it's been a long day. It's been a really long day. Um, so, yeah. And now we've got to go to the grocery store this evening and get some grocery shopping done because... I want to be able to eat while I'm home for the time that I'm going to be home and not have to worry about going out to the grocery store. Um, and I want to eat what I want to eat. Like tomorrow I'm supposed to be on a clear diet and Thursday and Friday I'll be at the hospital. But when I'm home Friday evening and, you know, Saturday and for the rest of my recovery, I still want to be able to eat the things I want to eat and not have to worry about going out to the grocery store Saturday or Sunday. So, yeah, we've got to do that today um, and get that out of the way. I like my fruits and my vegetables. I like my smoothies. 
So I'm going to try to get that stuff, fruits, veggies, and smoothies. Um, I like my fish, so I'm going to try to get some fish. And a few other things. A few other things. Breakfast food. Um, some cereal and some milk. Yeah. Those things. As well as um, get some of the other things that we need for the house. The other toiletries that we need for the house. Because we do still need a couple of things. I didn't pick everything up yesterday. Um, and I should have. I really should have because I was in a store where I could have done that. I just didn't. So, yeah, that's been my day. That's what's going to happen this evening. And that was the end of my day yesterday. So, um, with that, peace and blessings. Remember to walk in your purpose. And remember that I truly appreciate you. Have a great one.